Dude, that was the biggest bass of the day so far. Oh my goodness. Ready to go fishing? Yes, Daddy, I want to go fishing. Got him. Oh, little guy. Airboat with Miami Everglades Connection. <laughs> We're sliding with Miami Everglades Connection. She's having a little problem with her uh, <laughs> uh, morning morning voice, but um, yeah, it's gonna be a good time today with Captain Al. What's up, man? What's up, guys? Guys, if you want to experience the Everglades the way it's supposed to be experienced and actually learn something, you need to come check these guys out. Information will be in the description below. The, the rod up. What you got? Hmm? You got a fish? Sweet. Let's see that. He crushed it. Nice. Baby, Let them go. Good job. Yep. Oh, I'm stabbing somebody. Yep. Woo! Got him! The kicker. Nice baby. chunk. Ah, right by the structure. Uh, yeah. Got him. Nice. Oh, I just saw the hook. Yeah, baby. On the retrieve. Yep. Oh man, so I didn't record any of that. No, I got nope. that. Oh. Here. Oh, oh here. Is it recording right now? Yeah. Okay. Oh, 
Give me my fish. Man. You know, he caught a fish in the alligator. Dude, that was the biggest bass of the day so far. Oh my goodness. Look, look around. Look. That is a big fish in the gator mouth. Yo, that was <laughs> insane. We tried, <laughs> we tried to get over there to save the bass. But by the time we got to this little stick here, that gator came across from over there and just crushed them. I thought I was recording on this uh, GoPro on my head, but uh, no dice. RIP Mr. Bass, because that was a lunker. These spotted dark lilies actually have a bonnet worm in them. Not every single one of them. But you see like this one has a hole. And this one's already started to kind of like mud it up. There's probably a little one in there right now. And these don't have the hole. But the, uh, the purple gallinules, it's his bird that we're going to see. Beautiful bird. They actually grab the side of it, they make a hole on it, and they pull that worm out of it. Let me see this one. It looks like it's been picked already, I think. There it is. That's a bonnet worm there. The birds. Pluck the hole in the side yeah, and just pull it and out. they rip it on the side. Right. Now this spatter dog lily, being that it's not native to us, we can pull this out. Okay. You cannot pull anything native in the Everglades. And he's off. <laughs> so that's the female. Too these cool. are these are these are grackles. Alright, so they're both grackles. Yeah, they're both grackles. Yep. Got one. <laughs> And another one. See those bumps on their back? What do you think that's made out of? Bone, cartilage, the skin. So those things right there are called scoops. They're actually round, they're round bone plates, really, really, really thick bone. And then it's got that little ridge on top of it. And it shows almost like a solar panel. So when they're out of the water, getting sun, it's not a Miami thing that everybody has to sun, sun tan or whatever. Actually, it's absorbing the heat of the sun to keep them warm. And also, it helps them digest their food as well. Everglades fishing, baby.
right, so you had fun? Yep. What is what are some of the things you got to see today? I saw a bunch of alligators, some bass, some Oscars, some gars. That was pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Alright, so it was an awesome day today. I know Giselle, you had a good time? Jaden's over there, he started the car because it's it's pretty hot out here. Al, if anybody wants to book a trip with you and with your company, tell them how to get in contact with you. Well, we got the website, www.miami Everglades Connection. Also, we have an Instagram with the same name, Miami Everglades Connection, as well as Facebook. I will put the links in the description below. That way, if you guys are ever down here in Miami, you need to book a trip because this is really how you need to experience the Everglades. Just walking through the Everglades, that's only part of it. But going out, riding through the river of grass, it's an amazing, almost a spiritual experience. So I say, if you're down here, you have to book these guys. Check them out. Lexi, what else should they do? Subscribe and hit that notification button. Yeah, subscribe and hit that notification button. All right, guys, see you next time. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, tight lines. With a passion, they say I be swagging and slaying in fashion. Feel like King Arthur, I just slayed a dragon. My jig on the bottom, I ain't even snagging. Slay like a savage from snooking the best.